What's up guys, Quesler here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a main menu and how to add controller support to it. So uh, this is going to be a little complicated. Um, if you don't know how to use arrays or how they work, uh, I would suggest you probably steer away from this one because we are going to be using an array and we're going to be manipulating it and doing a few things with it. And yeah, it's not that complicated, but it is quite a lengthy process. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna start off with uh, making the main menu stuff here. So we're gonna make a couple blueprint classes. We're gonna make a controller. So we're gonna call it the main menu controller. We're gonna quickly <clears throat> open that up, save it. And we are actually gonna go over to here to the search box and show mouse cursor. You're gonna want the mouse cursor shown for that. So we're gonna compile that and save it. And we're gonna close it out. We're done there. We don't need anything there. Uh, after that, we're going to make a HUD, so we're going to need a HUD to show the widget on the screen. Um, so we're going to go down here, and actually, we don't even need to go there, my bad. Uh, actually, you go to User Interface, which is on here somewhere, yep, right down there. Um, actually, HUD is on here, I could have swear, they might have changed this since last time, but we're going to make a widget first, whatever. We're going to call it Main Menu, open it up, save it keep this open for later we're gonna need that and we're gonna need a HUD uh, now I don't remember where this is at here so yeah so we're gonna probably have to go to here HUD there we go main menu HUD. okay now this is how we are going to display our main menu on the screen. So on begin play we're going to create widget and we are going to create it, the main menu widget and we're going to add it to the viewport. We're going to add it to the viewport so that way the player can see the widget. We're going to Compile that, save it, and you don't need to touch that anymore. So now we're here. Um, a few things. Um, you're probably going to need a background. Uh, you are going to need a background for this, so uh, just plop an image down. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, make it full screen. You're going to need it uh, full screen so that way you can track a mouse movement. You can make it invisible or whatever. We're going to just call it background. There just needs to be something covering. The screen so call it background I am gonna make it slightly darker maybe a little bluish tinge to it whatever doesn't really matter right make it a little transparent cool so there you go that's all you need there now we are gonna need some buttons so I'm gonna actually go import some buttons I'm gonna make a folder I'm gonna call this button images You know what? Button textures. Button textures. We're going to open that up. We're going to click import over on the side here. And I'm going to actually go import some buttons from my game, The Amazing Ball. And uh, we're going to just go quickly and grab some of that. I'm going to move that off screen here because there are some things that I can't show. Um. Let's see, we're gonna grab quit game, we'll grab play game, wherever the heck that is. Yeah, play game. And options. Open those up. Open each individual one up, save it. We're gonna need those for later. Um, if you have your own button images, uh, you can use those. Um, my buttons are simply text with some uh, stuff added to them. So yeah, um, I actually might be doing away with these for my game. So uh, yeah, so after that we're going to want to make some buttons on here. Now there are a few ways you can do this. Uh, if you want you could add a vertical box and throw them in the vertical box. Um, which I would suggest doing, but for this, I am not going to do that. 
um, there's no need. Uh, another thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to make a button blueprint because you Unreal's uh, stock like normal button isn't very good. So you can save yourself a lot of time by making a your own button. So we're going to look up button. And you can click it right here and select it. And we're going to call this new or my button. We're going to call it my button. We're going to open that up. And you get a lot of neat stuff here. So you can actually change the color of it here and the styles and stuff like that here. And that way you can only have to touch it once and never again anywhere else. All you'd have to do is add the images for each individual button, which is really useful. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to add a hovered. So we're going to make this like a blue. We'll make it like a darker blue like that. And then we'll make pressed um we'll make pressed a a dark blue a super dark blue we'll make it like really dark there so now we have that done we can compile and save you could also add some your own functionality in here so uh, there are tutorials where you can shift keyboard and mouse focus here in the button uh if you want to go find that you can um that is an option and uh that's up to you um, but yeah that's you can do a lot here so but I just wanted to show you that you can make your own button and you can add the functionality of changing colors here so that we don't have to do it anywhere else and same thing with sounds if you have a press sound or a hovered sound add them here it'll change all the buttons that you have in your entire project so we're gonna close it out because we don't need to touch that anymore and we're gonna go and grab my button so we're gonna click my button we're gonna grab it and we're gonna chuck it right in here. We're gonna grab three of them and we're gonna name them accordingly. I'm gonna name this one Play Game. We're gonna name this one Options. And we are gonna name this one Quit game and I am gonna anchor them straight to the middle here we're gonna move this one down I don't know 50 move him right in the middle and we'll move this one right in the middle as well but we're gonna move him up 150 just like so now we're going to add our images to them as well, so that way we can uh, use that. So um, this is going to be doing some weird stuff here with the margins, and it's not going to look right. Uh, and they're incredibly small here, so you might want to increase the size of your button. So we'll go, I don't know, 200 by 50. That way it's a kind of a bit bigger. Um, you could even go bigger than that. The stock size of these buttons is 900 by 200, so really big buttons. Um, I wouldn't go like that. I'd go like 600 by, I don't know, 150 or something. Something not too big. I, I guess we'll stick with that. That way the buttons aren't too ridiculously big. Uh, a vertical box would help with that. So... And make sure you do get rid of the margin, because otherwise it will look super weird. Um, it won't look right. Quick game. And uh, ooh, I forgot to increase the size of that guy. Uh, 600 by 150. You can also check an aspect ratio calculator and uh, oops, I get one there. 
and we have equal spacing in between each of them. Um, <clears throat> you can go and find an aspect ratio calculator, and uh, whatever aspect ratio your buttons is, uh, you can uh, change them to be exactly the size that you need them for your, your pixels. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to an aspect ratio calculator if you'd want to use that. So that is an option. Now from here, we're going to need to add some functionality to these buttons. So we're going to do that. We're going to unclick. Um, we're going to make it just open a level. I'm not going to specify what level. Um, and oops, I always do that. Um, for options, I actually didn't change the rest of these on the things here. So I'm actually going to copy this and uh, paste that in here. Yeah, you can do that. So if you didn't know, uh, you can copy and paste your buttons, like the images, on each individual page. And a nice thing here that we can do is actually go back to our button. This is an instance. Instead of having to change the margin every single time, we just set that to zero here, compile it, save it. And I can show you that uh, it should automatically update. So that was unpressed that I set that to. So we'll go back in each of these and set the margin to just zero. That way it changes all the buttons so that way we don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay. See, now margins are gone. Don't have to worry about it. And uh, we can copy this again and paste her on. So paste. Now this is going to look really weird down here apparently, and I guess it didn't change the margin like it was supposed to. So maybe they changed that, I don't know, it should change it. Or maybe it's just changed on new buttons, I don't know. I'm going to copy quit game. Change the margin so that way it doesn't look weird and you go to press on it. Okay. So now that we have that, um, we have our buttons all made. We can get back to adding the functionality to it. Um, on clicked. Uh, this is going to do nothing. I don't have another widget, so we'll just print string. We'll make it say hello. That's what we're going to do for that. And then for quit game, obviously, you can, we're going to make it quit the game. So click on you. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you can lock each of these into place. So that way you can't move them anymore um, if you didn't know that. So just click the little lock button. I mean, I'm pretty sure if any competent person really were to pay attention, you'd kind of be able to realize that. <laughs> So I don't know why I really mentioned that, but yeah. Okay, so now that we have our button functionality, um, these buttons <clears throat> do work, um, but there are a few things that we do need to do. So we haven't actually set the game mode here to be what this is. So, and the best way to do that is to make a new game mode. So we're gonna actually make a, an entirely new game mode. Um, that way we can we can load it up with everything that we need here. So we're gonna just call it main menu game mode. Uh, the player controller is the player controller. The HUD is gonna be the main menu HUD. The default pawn class is gonna be none. Um, and I think that is it that we gotta do here. Yep, I think that's it. So, and apply that and save it, um, and then we're done. So here, now all we have to do is just simply open the main menu game mode here, and all of your stuff is here now. You don't have to worry about it. It's, it's done. So, and you're going to want to save your level too. So when you do that, just, just click save all. <laughs> All right, now we have everything done with that, and now we can finally start working on 
the main functionality, which I will cover in the next video. So I hope to see you guys in the next video, and uh, see you next time. Oh yeah, there is one brief thing I forgot to mention. Uh, go to www.theamazingball.com uh, to get the latest news on my game. Uh, if you'd like to check it out and download the pre-release versions. So um, if you could do that, that would be a great help. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.